18. I don't fuck with 12 and they don't fuck with me. Bitch, hey, gang, she on no trust. Her dick for a grand, said my gas make it slow. I could whip it up, fix you up straight away. Come on in the front door, leave it at the back door. Brief. Why are you ignoring me? Because. Just Look! Because I'm just. You're just what? Because basically I'm just. <laughs> so we getting cake? Because it's disrespectful. To you. It is disrespectful to for you. one woman. Red. To you. It is disrespectful. To you. It is. First of all, it's disrespectful in general. To you. He's back home after graduating college, and here is the weirdest part of my family house, my father's political bathroom. These are all of his buttons. He does have some from Republicans, but we are very, very Democratic. He just thinks they're really funny. On this wall is all of the anti-Trump Women's March stuff. He got a laminator specifically so he could keep those up. And on this side is a taken anti-Trump button. This Bernie Sanders chocolate bar. Capitalism for Beginners, AOC comic books, really funny, I did read it, and Marks for Beginners, also read this one. These are national embarrassments. Here you can take a whiteboard marker and deface a portrait of the bushes, which is very satisfying, I will not lie to you. Above the mirror, what's this? Oh yes, the action figures of Hillary and Bernie and a stress toy. And the best part is you must do all of your business below an Obama portrait. She was 60, she met Phyllis and was devastated when they couldn't get married. At 85 years old, Connie waited overnight so she could be the first gay couple to get married in New York. At 9 a.m., they were pronounced wife. Hello, Kyle. How are you doing today, sir? Oh, it's Kylie, and I'm good. Kylie? No, 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 I have here that your name is Kyle. Kyle is my birth name, but I go by the name Kylie. Is there a reason you called me in here? Oh, yes, um, so I wanted to talk to you. I'm sorry, I can't get over the Kyle Kylie thing. It's just a name. Are you gay? Can we just move on? I don't want to talk about my sexuality with you. Well, it's just kind of confusing, um, you not going by your own name. Okay, sorry. Mm. So Kyle, Kylie, just a reminder, you still have to use the men's bathrooms. I'm sorry, I'm just so confused. Who is the meanest? Who is the loudest? Who is the baddest? Who is the most caring? Who is the sneakiest? Who's the cleanest? Who's the messiest? Who gets in trouble the most? Who has the worst attitude? Who's the funniest? Who eats the most? Who will be the last to leave the house after they are grown? Who will put us in a nursing home? 
So this is one of my recent videos and it was just about me being a hoe. And for everyone that commented God is watching, God did not blink during slavery. You think he's gonna care if I suck some dick? The cutest thing happened to me at work the other day, and the story is adorable, so I thought I would share it. A young gentleman walked up to me and he said, may I use the restroom? I said, oh yeah, for sure. So I went and I unlocked the men's restroom for him. And then he looks at me with teary eyes and he just goes, this is the men's restroom. And I looked at him with like a little bit of confusion, and then he started bawling his eyes out. I got so scared, like so scared. Then he just looks up at me with like the biggest smile on his face with tears running down and he was like That's the first time I've passed It's not just some coincidence that every single gay kid flourishes after high school, okay? It's not a coincidence Y'all are toxic any of your students ever come out to you? Yeah, I would say this happens like three times a month. I'm not kidding. I'm a pretty easy person to come out to because I will in no way pressure you to come out fast. I'll just support your process and when you're ready to tell other people, you go for it. In the meantime, I'm here to support you. That goes for people on TikTok as well. Here's the story of how I got my conversion therapist arrested. First, I came out to my parents and they actually took it pretty well. They sent me to see a Christian counselor who turned out to be a conversion therapist. Something about this person seemed off. None of their degrees actually looked legit and were from accredited universities. I confided in a trusted adult. Together we filed a report, which led to an investigation, which led to their eventual arrest. However, this isn't where the story ends. They were released from jail, but their business is closed forever and they can never practice therapy again. Mom did the sweetest thing. She reorganized my whole desk here. It's almost done. You know, she's great. Put all my gay shit everywhere. But look at that. She's still putting some secret messages for me up in here. She still got hope. Mom, let student before actually yeah a second grader at my first school and you know what we became really good friends he came from a family that really really was homophobic and he told me this he said me and my family do not support people that are gay and in the lgbtq community but he also said to me one day he came up to me and he was like teacher bambrini you know i'm really sorry you're gay because you know you are gonna go to hell and i really like you as a person to me this was a huge compliment so I said back to him, you know, honey, thanks so much for worrying about me and worrying about what happens to me after I'm gone. And I really appreciate you. And we were still friends. You can be friends with anyone. P.S. You're not going to hell if you're gay. Just wanted to make that clear. Why are all the hot guys straight? Why are all the hot guys gay? Why are all the hot girls straight? Why is everyone hot? <laughs> what? Baby, you
I just don't think I can do it. I can't take the pressure. I'm sorry, what was that? Are you forgetting who you do this for? Yeah, but I- Say it. I do it for the girls and the gays. Who? For the queens and the queers! Why? Because they be loving my shit. Good job, baby, good job. Now go strip for the homos. There's a limit of one 10 pack of face masks a day. So I'm gonna try to do 10 of these bags a day. These are all the things I wish someone would have given me when I was homeless. Um, deodorant, I smelled bad. Mouthwash, my mouth tasted like shit. Some water so you could gargle. Um, some raisins, and just a snack, I guess. Um, these cheese cookies, I don't like them, but I really like the peanut butter ones, but some people might be allergic, so I got both. Goldfish, the snack that smiles back. Goldfish, I love Scooby-Doo, man. Oh, fuck. Um, the Nature Valley Crunchy shit, they good, they good, you know. I got clean shirts because that shit sucks. It's so hard to do laundry in New York City right now. Um, socks, never enough clean socks, man. There's literally, ugh. Okay, I got coffee because I got kind of tired from all the walking. Um, I got these plastic bags because it's supposed to rain tonight and now I'm ready to go hand this stuff out.